is all about subcutaneous injection which is for 12 minutes in time for total you will be getting a scenario it can be a community setting or a hospital setting I got um, a community prescription documentation for my uh, subcutaneous injection so let's see how we we are gonna do it okay so scenario you are visiting a new patient at home who requests medication which is insulin glargine uh, all the equipment you need is provided please administer the medication used using the prescription below and it is today four o'clock 16 hours which has been mentioned in my prescription i'm checking the uh, prescription details yes this is miss uh, yelsa john and i can see i got uh, an address a date of birth and allergy says that it's none drug name insulin glargine dose is 14 units root is subcutaneous frequency is uh, bd Talk to signature date and time it's been mentioned and there is a place for me to sign date and time okay so i got everything what i need i can see that it, the prescription is quite clear legible and valid i have checked everything i'm going to start with my procedure first of all this is a community setting i'm going to knock the door knock knock is at elsa's house elsa will open the door and tell the yes it is my house yes i'm elsa um elsa my name is jisna i'm one of the registered nurse who is working here in this community setting and i'm here to give your injection is that okay to come into your house yes you can come in Elsa will tell that so you will be telling all right Elsa is there any pets over here no there is no pets over here I can confirm that the room is safe for me to approach the patient I can see that the room has enough privacy my by closing the doors and uh, well drawing the curtains um, I'm going to do a quick hand hygiene as per WHO protocol I'm take, taking my handful of hand drop which is palm to palm back of the palm interlacing interlocking tip of the fingers thumb rotation wrist now my hands are clean and i'm allowing it for dry for next 30 seconds i'm going to approach my patient um hi elsa my name is jisna i'm one of the registered nurse who is working here in this community facility and i'm here to give you an injection which is glargine um so um have you um had this injection before have you had this insulin uh, Elsa will tell her answer whatever exactly it is okay so just have an introduction section then you will be going for the ID check all right Elsa before I start my uh, procedure would you mind to confirm your full name your first line of address your uh, date of birth and then would you mind to tell me Elsa are you allergic to any medication Elsa will tell none so you will just proceed with the next step uh, so yes um, I can see that you are having BD insulin um, so have you heard that before you already asked just to get more into the injection details if they are telling you know they had the injection before then you will be asking do you remember which site was it I had my injection on my uh, left arm so all right um, Elsa is that okay if I just uh, proceed with your right um, arm this time okay so anyway your site will be prefixed over there you will be knowing which site you're gonna inject but still you will be asking since it is it is an insulin you might need to alter your site so just ask them which was their last site are they in any pain Elsa would you mind to tell me are you in any pain are you comfortable um, so yes insulin doesn't have much side effect it, it will definitely a pain free procedure never mind I'll be staying here for 30 minutes of time after my procedure um, if you're feeling any concerns I'll be there for you but think a situation that you got an emergency situation after that you can always call 999 you can just um, if it is a non-emergency situation yes there is GP or 111 available so is that okay get the consent make everything is being ready then tell that you're gonna arrange the articles if the patient is okay then just um, make sure everything is ready then you're going to do a quick hand hygiene and then going to arrange the articles so of course make sure that you have done a hand hygiene before you do the so as per the WHO protocols but you wouldn't be verbalizing the all the steps but still you have to demonstrate it in very quick way so now your hands are clean and dry you need a tray before you arrange your articles so assessor would you mind to confirm whether this tray has been cleaned in last 24 hours assessor will tell yes to that so you will verbalize okay since my tray has been cleaned i'm happy to proceed with my uh, proceed with my procedure then 
Uh, since the tray has been cleaned in last 24 hours, you will be telling that yes, you are gonna, you're happy to continue with the procedure. Now you're going to arrange your articles. Okay, so for subcutaneous injection, what whole things you need? So think a situation for intramuscular injection, you need an aspiration needle, blunt needle, everything. But for subcutaneous uh, injection, you will get. Um, a syringe with needle okay so everything is been attached so you don't need to connect with any aspiration needle or a blend needle or an injection needle or anything very simple you'll get a syringe check the um, expiry make sure it's been intact and intact if you're happy to use get that into your tray okay you need uh, again two alcohol uh, wipes checking the expiry verbalizing that this is in data and intact if you're happy to use this you can use that then again you can just check to make sure you're having a plaster check the um, date in data and intact happy to use it you need a couple of ghost space you're gonna check the uh, ghost swabs packet and I can see this is um, in date and intact I'm happy to use so you have taken a couple of course piece then uh, you will check if there is anything that you need for subcutaneous injection of course you need um, a sharp bin because you are going to give an injection so after that you have to discard your needle into the sharp bin so you will just check that you'll have a um, handy sharp bin next to you then what is the next is very important you have to check your medication so in that you will be checking usually you'll be having insulin vial um, so I am going to take my medication so you can do your checking when you come into the patient's time I mean when you check into the patient's ID check you can tell that you are here to give the insulin glargin so you can explain all the checks over there but never mind since it is a medication administration when you take the medication out just have a double check by telling that see uh, I can see that this is insulin glargin and I can see that the uh, dose is 14 units I got the required amount of medication and this is subcutaneous the route and then I'm going to give it it's 16 hours as per the prescription and I can see the prescription uh, frequency is BD um, so I go to right prescription uh, with doctor's name date and signature and the prescription is very legible clear and valid and the medication doesn't have any precipitation there is no color change the expiry is within date and uh, once you check you know everything if you're happy to use it just you can take the medication after cross check with your mar chart or your prescription once everything is ready then you can keep it into your tray so you got everything what is necessary for your subcutaneous injection now you're going to uh, you're going back to uh, your patient after confirming you have everything which is ready so once your all articles are ready for the procedure you're going to wear your gloves and apron so before that make sure you're going to do a quick hand hygiene again as per who protocol just do a quick hand hygiene and then you're going to wear your apron okay so you have turn with your apron and gloves when you're taking the glove box just check the expiry of your glove box back i can see that the box is within date and um, yeah i am happy to use the pair of gloves for me and uh, once you have done that you're back with the uh, procedure to your patient okay so hi elsa i'm back with my uh, articles are you comfortable are you in any sort of pain? Shall I proceed with my uh, injection? Would you mind to confirm that have you had your lunch? Just check because you're going to give your insulin. So it's always good to ask that have they had their lunch? So would SSR, would you mind to tell me what is the sugar level of the patient if it is a pre or a post? It's always good practice. So then you are going to check the site and then um, Elsa, can I just uh, expose your site a little bit? Is that okay? All right, okay. I can see that uh, the skin uh, looks okay. There is no signs of infection inflammation skin lesions or any edema okay so you have seen the area it looks okay you're happy for um, yeah you're happy for the procedure now you'll get a choice if you see that the skin is looks clean 
you don't need to clean it okay but if it is appropriate of course you can take um, a clinical wipes and then you can clean the site and dry it for 30 second but since the skin looks okay and clean i'm not going to clean the site again so now what we are going to do we are going to give the insulin first of all what we have to do we have to clean the medication vial so take um, an alcohol swab clean it for 30 second then dry it for 30 seconds so you can leave that over here in your blue tray take the uh, needle out okay so very simple remove the cap sometimes your needle does have a cap just below the area which you can remove it but or else you can just remove the cap once you remove the cap make sure you wouldn't be recapping it at any chance okay you're going to load the medication so 30 seconds is over for dry and then you're gonna withdraw the medication which is 14 units of glargine take a little bit extra to make sure you're adjusting the dose okay you're leaving this one the medication into the blue tray then you are adjusting the dose okay so now it is 14 units and then you will show this to the assessor assessor can you confirm the dose okay so assessor will look into the uh, exact dose and they will be assessing are you giving the right dose of medication so once if the assessor is telling yes they have looked into it then you're going to insert the medication so before you insert make sure that you will be having a pair of um, uh, cotton swab which is just next in your fingertip soon after you can just give a gentle press after your withdrawing of the needle okay how are you going to insert the needle you're going to administer it in an angle of 90 degree okay so you'll be just giving a little pinch into the side then you're going to insert at an angle of 90 degree and then you're going to give the medication within a time second span of 10 to 30 seconds very slowly by counting till 30 seconds then after that once the time bow has been comes to an end you're gonna withdraw the needle straight into the sharp bin then once everything is okay if there is no bleeding you just look the skin side everything is fine you're gonna take a gentle uh, well take a plaster out and then you're gonna attach the plaster if there is any bleeding but just verbalize that if you're not putting any plaster just verbalize that the skin looks okay but it's always good practice if you can just put a plaster in and then make sure the patient is dignified by just keeping all the exposed dress back as like how it was then you will be just verbalizing that you're going to remove or you're going to discard all the equipments as per in the as per the nmc guidelines in the necessary appropriate bin you're going to dispose your apron and gloves okay you're going to dispose it and then you are going to do a quick hand hygiene as per the WHO protocol again okay so when you once you're doing the hand hygiene also you'll be telling that as a sir I'll make sure that all the equipments which I used will be ready for next use after cleaning it then you'll be coming back and you are gonna sign date and time because you have done a medication administration so of course you have to make sure that you are doing your signature part immediately after your medication administration come back reassure the patient make sure the patient is okay and then tell that you'll be here for 30 uh, minutes of time if there is any emergency that happens after that then just make sure you'll be calling 999 or just verbalize that call 111 or gp if it is a non-emergency situation check whether they are in pain or any sort of you know or troubles and then uh, just give them a comfort zone discard everything if you have time or just make sure you'll be verbalizing it but appropriate just verbalize that you're going to discard everything as per the nmc guidelines in the appropriate bins and then that is the end of the scenario you'll be coming out after having a quick hand hygiene as per the who protocols that's all about subcutaneous injection which is there for 12 minutes of time